next step is after the ATI pulley, uh, Torch Storm says remove this idler assembly from the driver's side head. There's three bolts. 13 and mils for a challenge. They're uh, 13 milli? Yep. And there we go. All right, so the next step on the to-do list is we're at number 14. We're gonna install this bracket and three bolts where the old tensioner assembly was on the driver's side head. And then we're gonna torque those down to 29 foot-pounds. All right, so we got our torque wrench. We're gonna torque this down to 29 foot-pounds per Torque Storm's instructions. All right, so we have that bracket uh, bolted on and torqued down to 29 foot-pounds. So we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so the next thing up is right here. We need to remove the AC compressor bolts because you gotta install some spacers to basically kick it out or lower it down a little bit to gain some access for the belt. So your AC compressor is on, uh, on the driver's side you have a stud right here. There's a stud and a nut. You got to remove that nut. You got to remove this stud. And then you got another bolt right back here. And then you got a bolt back here towards the middle that you got to remove. All right, so now we're at uh, 16. We got to install the main supercharger head unit bracket. So we're going to get that installed real quick. And it utilizes this hole and this hole and this hole on the bracket we mounted to the head and then this threaded hole on the driver's side cylinder head. So we're going to get it installed, show you what it looks like. Alright, so we got the head unit bracket mounted. As you can see in here, mounts this location, this location, this location, and that location. Pretty simple what it looks like up top so the next step is uh, looks like we're gonna be actually installing the blower so we're gonna mount the head unit the uh, torque storm supercharger itself so we'll get that done Let's see what it looks like Chief. At least without loosening that. Yep. Pause the video. Hey, and guess what those get torqued to? 29 foot pounds. Oh, 
hope we can turn it now before I mount it. Alright, so we're going to install the Torque Storm Supercharger Idler Pulley System. It goes on the main bracket right here. And there's a nut that goes on the back side of the bracket. So drop it in there. That's it, and then we're gonna get it torqued down. All right, so now we're gonna put the uh, idler pulley on for the stock belt. So it's gonna be this pulley right here, which is the six rib pulley. You're gonna insert this spacer on the back side, and then you're gonna get one of these spacer washers that goes on the front side like so, and then your bolt. And then it's going to go on to the main bracket like so. And then we're going to torque this down to 29 foot pounds. That's good. All right, so now we're going to install the idler pulley for the supercharger belt. It's located right here on the bottom corner of the bracket. And you, you're gonna need this spacer. You're gonna install it through the back of the idler pulley like so. You want this lip facing the front bumper of the car. You're gonna install your flat washer spacer, your bolt, and then you're gonna mount it right here and torque it to 29 foot-pounds. Step is we're gonna be mounting the lower Torque Storm Supercharger pulley to our ATI dampener on the crankshaft. There's three ATI bolts that came with the kit. We're gonna use those. So you slide your pulley over the ATI and it's got a recessed lip that fits inside. So you're just gonna slide that in, line up your three bolts, thread it down. And then we'll torque them down to spec. All right, so the next thing we got to do, we got to install our radiator uh, spacer brackets. We already did the passenger side right here. I'm gonna show you what you got to do. Um, so you're gonna take this Torque Storm spacer bracket and you're gonna take one of their bolts. It goes in like so. And then it's gonna mount where the factory radiator bracket was which was like this so you're gonna thread that in snug it up And then you're going to 
take the factory mount and it goes right here in this threaded hole with the factory bolt. And what this does is it lowers the radiator one inch and pushes the radiator forward one inch to gain clearance for our extra pulleys that are now sticking out a little bit further for the supercharger belt.